1974 and then Range Rover Classic, three door, 3.5 carburetor, four speed manual this one. So this is an Australian import. Um, it is UK registered. I know the number plate is on there, but it is UK registered. We've got the logbook here with us. Uh, we were, we've been informed by the vendor who, who, who owned the car in Australia that it's a one owner vehicle. When he came back to the UK, he brought it with him. Uh, it's in kilometres and it equates to about 20, 26,000 miles. We believe it to be correct. Like I say, he informed us that it was a one owner vehicle in Australia. It's a horrible expression, but to us, this is a proper survivor vehicle. It doesn't look like it's been restored to us. Uh, it looks lovely and straight all the way around. We're going to do a video on it here. We're going to walk around the exterior onto the interior we'll do an engine start up it has had he did have an aircon unit fitted in australia to the back of it which i will show you in a minute uh, and that's the reason why the back seats aren't bolted in correctly so body width wise we gonna start off the body so you've got a lovely big winch bumper fitted on there for pulling uh by the looks of it houses down up the bonnet itself lovely and straight on both sides i've got no complaints there no rust on the corners like we get with the uk cars lovely and tidy not too many stone chips there either there's a few light surface scratches here and there and if this was mine i'd be uh, chopping it a bit to give it a good polish just to bring back some of that fade a few little stone chips there no corrosion to be expected lovely and tidy across the scuttle lovely and straight across the front end there all the grills intact all the lights are nice and clear again no corrosion underneath the uh, windscreen anywhere or around the roof there Lovely and fresh all the way across as you come down onto the right hand side. We will do the chassis as well so you can have a good look at that. Lovely and tidy across that front wing. Again, no alley rash, no corrosion anywhere. As straight as you're going to find, like I say, horrible expression, but it's definitely a survivor vehicle, this one. He did inform us that it was one owner in Australia. Lovely and tidy across the bottom of the doors, no alley rash, no, no dings, no dents, no real complaints across there. Apart from it, it's a little bit flat in the paint side of things. There's a little bit, a few little stone chips here and there slightly later wheels by the looks of it i'll go underneath so you can have a look at that chassis there not coming in under seal you can clearly tell it's been in a dry area area most of its life this one across the bottom of the doors like i say no bubbling no rust no corrosion no alley rash at all coming down onto that rear quarter the only bit i can find on the body weight is there's a tiny amount just underneath the paint there on the rear right hand quarter where it meets the sliding window and your, your cloth pillar there. Again, around the arch with some dodgy camera work. Loving straight all the way across there. No bubbling at all on the arches. See the chassis there as well. Not coming in under seal like I've already said. No nasty marks around the fuel for the cap. Loving straight down this whole right hand side quarter. The yard's slightly heavier. Surface scratch there, which you can't see. Coming back down that quarter, all the glass windows are lovely and clear. There's no scratching on the sliding windows. Coming down, like I say, we've pointed that bit out. That's the only bit I can see on the bodywork. Down the back on the original Australian number plate, like I say, it is UK registered, this one. The tailgate's lovely. There's no corrosion on the corners. No alley rash coming through there. Loving straight all the way up. A few marks here and there in the paintwork. A few little bits in the paint there. Lovely and tidy down the back edge there with a few little chips on the corner. There's a few little bits of dust here and there. Tailgate's obviously had a little bit of paintwork at some point. But lovely and straight down that whole left-hand side as well. I'll show you the roof. Lovely and tidy down the roof there. Again, another big steel bumper fitted at the back. We'll go underneath so you can have a look underneath there. If you want any individual photos on particular parts on these just give us a shot we can do all that coming down that left hand side we've got a touch in scratch here there's no corrosion there's a little bit tiny bit of touch in there lovely entirely across the windows again the sliding windows are all lovely around the arches where you want to see no corrosion coming through once again no bubbling no rust loving straight down that whole left hand side rear quarter again into the chassis there and i'll come underneath this is the left hand side, see that rear outrigger there going forward. Lovely and tidy across the bottoms of the doors again, no bubbling on it. A few little chips on the back edge of the door there, and a few across the bottom, a few little stone chips, but no bubbling once again as you come up and around the handle. A few little marks around the handle, no major scratching around the locks, no rust across the door tops at all. Lovely and straight down that whole left hand side once again, coming forward up the front wing and around the wheel arch. We've got a little bit of a scratch there with some paint flake. 
And apart from that, lovely and fresh again down that whole wheel arch inside of the arch there. And again, I'll go back underneath the chassis so you can have a good look. You can see the sill section there. Bit of dodgy camera work trying to get this right in as much detail as I can find on this one. Interior wise, like I say, it has had an aircon unit fitted, which we will show you straight away. It does work as well. So they've bolted on an aircon unit straight in the back seats there. Going through the four back seats are all there. A little bit of a tear on the side there, but they're obviously not bolted in. And the same, a little bit of a tear on the left hand side. And they are a little bit grubby. Headlining seems to be lovely and clean and tidy. No rips or sagging in that at all. The driver's seat itself is lovely and tidy on the side. A little bit of wear at the bolster. But again, if the mileage is correct, like we believe it to be, that's what you'd expect. Across the uh, steering wheel is nice and tidy. Across the dash top, no cracks across the dash top. Dial's nice and clean. You can see the mileage there on 423.83. And that's kilometres, so please bear that in mind. It is kilometres. Four speed manual. We've also got air compressor diff locks as well on the front, which you can see they are working as well. Compressor boots into life. Aftermarket head unit fitted, the driver's door card, bit of wear to the metal grab handles. But apart from that, all nice and tidy across the door card, even inside the door checks. They're all nice and tidy in there. As we come round into the boot now, you're correct. Ross style spare wheel is there. Boot carpet's all nice. See, we've got some marks to the back of the base there, the metal rear seats and some aftermarket speakers fit there. Look a bit there, uh, a bit 80s, correct that. And again, carpet's all nice and tidy. A little bit of freight in the carpet on the back there. We'll lift that up and you'll see the uh, correct carpet underneath there as well. On to the left hand side front again, nice and tidy on the door card. A little bit of wear to the grab handle and to the metal door shuts and there's a bit of broken plastic on the seat base on the left hand side but nice and tidy up the rest of that seat there lovely and tidy there all the doors closed nice as well there not slamming anything into the engine bay now 3.5 litre v8 twin carb just again nice and dry in there james is going to find it life for us Start there. That's obviously your air compressor for the for the diff locks. Yeah, there. And there you have it. The proper survival on this. It's the 1974 Range Rover Classic three door. Like I say, we've been told by the vendor, the current UK keeper, that he imported it from Australia when he came back to the UK as a one owner vehicle. It is UK registered. The lock is with us here. It's 3.5. Four speed manual this one, honest good bones to that one that has.